Don't open the door. Evil Rocks, Marco's story. High in the mountains, a woman and her daughter were looking for their lost lamb. I'm tired, said the little girl. Can we rest? You stay here in this little hut and rest, while I look a bit further, said the mother. Don't open the door, not for anybody. I'll be back soon. You'll be safe here, she said. But it wasn't safe there. Nearby, Kapusa, the witch, lived behind two giant rocks. If you walked between them, she would close the rocks and trap you. These were rocks that swallowed people. The little girl was resting when suddenly there was a knock on the door. Did you lose your lamb? asked the voice outside. The little girl kept quiet. Open the door. I will show you where it is. said the voice. The girl knew she shouldn't open the door, so she just peeked through a crack. She saw an old woman standing there. In the distance, she could hear the bleating of her lamb, so she knew that it was out there. What she didn't know was that the old woman was the witch, Kabusa. The little girl thought, my mother won't be angry, she'll be happy. I found the lamb, so the girl opened the door. Come with me, said the old woman, and she led the little girl to the terrible rock place. The lamb is there, just in between those rocks, the witch said. Go and look. The little girl walked in between the rocks, and at that very moment, slip over part two. Quiet! said Leon. Do you hear something? What? Marcos asked. Somebody is knocking on the door. Listen, do you hear it? Knock, knock. The noise got louder. Bang, bang. Crash, boom. We crawled under the bed. There were footsteps down below. Then there were footsteps on the stairs. And now there were footsteps coming along the hallway, stopping right outside my room. We crawled to the farthest corner and pretended not to be there. The door squeaked as it slowly opened. Somebody came into the room. A voice spoke. I know you are here. Where are you? Where are you? The light came on. Somebody walked toward my bed and touched my foot. Ah! I screamed. What are you doing there? It sounded like my mother. But I knew better. It was a goblin disguised as her. Couldn't you hear me? The voice continued. I had to come in through the window. I forgot the key. It was my mother. We got out, we got out from under the bed. You told us not to open the door. I said, not for anybody. That's true, said mom. You did the right thing. Now go to sleep. Good night. Good night, we said. and climbed under the covers, then we went to sleep, but left the lights on.